Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe was past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And a double shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those that hope for Lex seeking for salvation. All right, now, what you saw was a video of, let me bring out the article here from RT News. There's a video of Russia, which Russia is known as Gog and Magog, and which will play a major role in this third world's war. It says The article says, blast off Russia's missile tests, rocket missions, and new stealth fighter, fighter launch Moscow's bid for supremacy in space and in the skies. It says July has been a remarkable month for Russian rockets, with Moscow announcing a handful of successful missile tests. The country showing off its warplanes at the Max International Air Show and launching the new Naka space module. OK, so Russia is, you know, testing out their missiles, getting everything right, preparing for the times that's coming ahead. All right. And um, I want to bring out. Joel, the third chapter, it says, Joel 3 and 9, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. All right, prepare means to make ready. And you see these nations are getting their, you know, weapons of war ready. Okay, a major weapon that will be used in the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is Babylon the Great, which is a.k.a. America, will be the ICBM missiles. All right, which the Lord is going to use as the weapons of his indignation, all right, to destroy this place. It says, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, okay, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, okay, that's what's happening. All right, while all the other prophecies are happening, this prophecy is also um, being made ready, all right, to, to take place as a final end all be all wars. Now, verse 10 says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, meaning turn your farm tools, okay, into weapons of war. All right, it says, let the weak say, I am strong. Now, these other nations didn't have ICBM missiles. Only America did, and I believe Great Britain as well. All right, but now these other nations have you know, the very same missiles that they're, they're going to band together. All right. Including the alliances of America to destroy this place. OK, so now they're strong, they're confident and they're testing their missiles. They're testing, you know, everything that they're going to be using for this war, man. OK, so we're in those times and, and everything's playing out, you know, perfectly. Um, I want to bring out a couple of more uh, scriptures here. Jeremiah, I believe the 50th chapter, it might be verse 9 or is it 51? Yeah, this is it. Jeremiah 59, it says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her, in formation against her. Okay, these nations are going to band together, all right, to destroy America. They're going to shoot their missiles on this place. Okay, it says, from thence she shall be taken, okay, their arrows, why is it, what, what is the arrows referring to? It's referring to the missiles. Now, I believe this is a standard missile, however, it travels in the form of an arrow, okay, that's shot off, okay. <laughs> See, it travels in, in the formation of an arrow. Okay, so the scripture refers to those ICBM missiles as arrows if your spirit can receive. All right, it says the arrows shall be as of a mighty expert. Okay, that's why they're testing and getting all the kinks out because, you know, these missiles are going to precisely um, be shot off, you know, towards the target. It says none shall return in vain, meaning none is going to, you know, um, none is going to explode in the atmosphere or, you know, collide with another missile. They're going to travel in a um, perfect precision. All right. Lord is going to have his, his spirit on those missiles, you know, as they're being shot off to destroy this place, man. 
All right. Um, I'm bring out a couple more. All right. Mm. I have one in mind. Let me see. I might not. I probably can't remember where it is. All right. Um. Salakia. Salakia, Salakia. Um, there was a precept that I had in mind. Yeah, there we go. Thawadi Habashimi, I'm shy. Isaiah 13 and 4 says, The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdom of nations gathered together. Okay, and these nations are gathering together for this World War III. You're seeing it in the Middle East. Okay, they're preparing for war. You got your warships out there, you know, your tanks, your, you know, your aircrafts. Okay, they're getting ready to get busy out there over in the Middle East. Okay, okay, it says the Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. Verse five, they come from a far country. And that's how you know it's speaking of the intercontinental ballistic missiles, because that uh, acronym alone describes the only weapon that, that comes and travels from whether one country or continent to another continent, man. Okay, it says from the end of the from the end of heaven, traveling through the heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. And what land is it talking about? It's talking about the land of America. Okay, so all this 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 war energy is getting ready to be manifested. Of course, you have other prophecies that need to be fulfilled such as the MOTB, all right? And that is not far-fetched. Obviously, we're in the closer steps to it being mandated, all right? But as a result, the final and all wars will come once Yahawashai comes back. Those missiles are going to be shot off, all right? Yahawashai is going to save the elect. You know, the scriptures say the elect shall scarcely be saved. If I can get that, okay? It says, uh, I want to bring the other one. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring this one. I'll bring this one. Okay, it's not the one that I particularly wanted, but, you know, Lord willing to be edifying. It says, First Peter 4 and 18, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? But the main point I want to hit is that the righteous will be scarcely saved. They're going to be beamed up right before those missiles hit. Okay. Uh, Lord Yahweh Shai is going to be doing the saving. All right. For the elect. Okay. And so, you know, with that being said, you know, it's going to be a dramatic effect take place. And it's going to cause the earth to reel to and fro, which is what I'm going to close out on. Isaiah 20, 24 and 20. It says the earth shall reel to and fro, meaning rock back and forth, all right, like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. So what's going to cause the earth to reel to and fro? Now we're talking about the earth here, okay? So you know the impact and power of the Lord's weapons of indignation. Okay, it's going to really be a dramatic effect. And, uh, you know, it's, it's getting ready to be heavy soon, man. So we're going to really witness uh, some very powerful things come soon. The Lord willing, we endure, you know. But meanwhile, you know, all prophecies are falling into place. And World War III is, is taking place, man. World War III is preparing, being prepared, okay, to, uh, to take place, I should say. Revelation 11 and 14, the second woe was passed, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right, all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles.